Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. This is part two of adding a drop down list inside our app. In this tutorial, you will learn how to start a new activity whenever you click on any of the items inside the drop down list or the spinner. Let me show you uh, the app in the emulator. We launched the emulator. So, this is basically the app, and here we have the the spinner or the drop down list. Now, if you're asking how did we get all these values, then please check out the part one of the tutorial. Now, let's uh, head back to uh, the main activity class, or the Java, sorry. Here inside the onCreate method, we'll call my spinner, and then we would write set on. So on item select listener for the button we usually use on uh, on click listener while for the spinner because we want to uh, have control on the items inside the spinner so we use set on item selected listener and then we give it a new on item selected listener and then we have two methods here we have on item selected and on nothing selected so we'll be working mostly with on item selected all right so on item selected here you might be asking like how do we identify which item inside the list that that we've clicked on well that's easy uh, this is uh, this integer value basically hold the position of each item inside the spinner or the drop down list now we want to what, now what we want to do is whenever you click on any of the items we launch a new activity uh, let's head back to the emulator so if I click on home then I'll go to the another activity called home for example if I click on work I do the same thing for that go to work activity others and custom and so forth alright so in this uh, in this project we don't have the the home activity so let's create one you head you go to the uh, the main package and then right click go to new and then you choose activity and then empty activity so we call this uh, home home oops we call this home activity we click finish all right let's go to the home activity .xml file and then we uh, we'll uh, drag in a text view just to indicate that we are in the home activity. So let's close this to give some space. Alright, now uh, we'll drag a uh, plain text view and then put it on the top. Oops. Uh, okay, alright. Now we'll change the text uh, just by looking at this line Android text and then we give it. This is home home screen, for example. All right. Now we uh, extract the string resource. Click OK. And then for for the text size, yeah, we need to change the text size. It looks really small. So how do we do that? Android, then text size. Then we give it value of 20 SP. Now you might be wondering why we used SP. Well, SP is like a measurement unit for the text sizes. So whenever you want to change a text size, you should add in the value that you want and end it with SP. Okay. So if let's say for example you forget SP, then you get an error. It's a red line, see. So you have to put in an SP. SP. Now let's go to the design section. All right, so it looks okay. Uh, we'll increase it a bit to uh, increase it to 24. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, click on design. All right, looks good. Now we'll go to the main activity, which we which is where we have the spinner, and then inside the on item selected method will do a simple if check 
f i which is the position of the current item equals to zero then we'll start a new activity so start activity passing in a new attempt and then uh, giving in the main activity which is the current activity and the home activity dot class okay so this is for the first position now let's give it this a run and see how it looks like so run this next is five hmm okay so we launched this uh, the emulator and then we immediately went to the the home activity it was supposed to show the spinner right okay let's all right okay, okay i know what uh what's causing this because we have a spinner and then what we uh, did in inside the on item selected is we did check if i for the position equals to zero then we start the activity now if you go if we go back to the emulator then the first position is zero which is home so by default whenever you run the emulator or you run the app then the home will be the default selection that's why it went to the uh, to the home activity. Let's click on work, which is doesn't do anything for now, right? We go back to home. Yeah. So that's what happened. Now uh, we can get this fixed by doing it like this. We go back to the strings.xml file. That's where it holds the the string array values, and then we'll add another item. And then we call this uh, please please select a value or oh, please choose yeah please select a value should be fine please select a value now now if we run this please select a value will be the first item that will be shown in the in the spinner here okay so we will go back to the main activity and the on item selected on item selected we would say if i equals to 1 which is home then we'll uh, you start this activity uh, let's stop this and then run it again okay let's launch the emulator there you go so when we did this it didn't go directly to the home activity it stays on uh, on the main activity which has the spinner so when you click on the spinner then we have please select a value and then the other values that we've added in the string array so please select a value will be the default value if let's say we choose home then this is home screen and I click back and then click the others place like value does that has nothing to do and then home yes so now I'll do the same thing I'll create different classes for the work other and custom and then I'll add them inside the own item selected listener so click on the main package right click and then choose activity and then choose empty activity and then we call this uh, home and then we have work activity we click on finish then we go to the work activity xml we do the same thing by adding a text view just in to indicate that we are in the uh, work activity then we would say this is work screen this is work screen and then we change the text size android text size we give it 24 SP and then now uh, we extract the resource for the uh, the label then click OK go back to the design section alright this is work screen go, b go back to the main activity inside the on item select listener and then he will do else if uh, I equals to 2 then we will uh, let me just copy this line and paste it here and they start activity pass in the uh, the current activity which is main activity of this and then instead of home activity it will be work 
activity dot class now let's run this and see what happened run uh, let's open the emulator there you go so this is this is the spinner click on that click on home this is the home screen that's good click on the spinner again then choose work this is work screen everything looks good and now let's do the same thing for the uh, the other custom okay so I've created uh, the conditions for the rest of the rest of the items inside the spinner so we have the now we have home work other and custom okay and you see the classes and the XML files okay now let's open up the emulator so this is basic uh, this is the spinner you click, you click on home then this is the home screen click on work this is work screen and then for other this is other screen and then for custom this is custom screen so it's basically you're basically gonna work with the item on item selected that's the only method and then you'll be repeating the same thing but you have to change uh, which classes you'll be going next so you can see I'm passing the current uh, activity and then the custom activity or the other activity based on whatever class that you want to direct the user from one point to another okay so I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful if uh, please leave out please leave your comment and suggestion in the comments and if you find it helpful, please subscribe. Thank you again for watching and happy coding.